Namaste. Welcome to Powerhouse to Roll. I'm in this goddess. Welcome to my lit, growing, prosperous, abundant YouTube, TikTok, right? You already know the vibes. So, we got to pick a card. Card one, card two, card three. Pick your cards. I'll give you a couple seconds to go ahead and do that. A couple meditative moments to go ahead and make your card selections. We're going to start off in card number one, card one, card two, card three. What's good? Welcome in. Go ahead, pick your card selection, card selection number one, card selection number two, card selection number three. We're going to start in card selection number one. Card selection number one is in Artemisia, the goddess, dog goddess of integrity, all right? So this message is all going to be about integrity. For those of us that pick card number one, tell me more messages about this Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael, I ask that you come down and place the hedge of protection around me as I do the messages. Archangel Jabril, thank you for helping me to communicate the messages from above or below. Archangel Metatron, thank you for breaking it. Okay. okay, so this is, those of us that pick card number one, this is all about integrity, learning integrity. Arnimitra talks about integrity walk in that walk of integrity whatever it is that you're doing okay what does your heart say and in where integrity stands for you okay to roll messages here for that welcome in welcome in make sure you follow me on all platforms y'all i'm over on youtube powerhouse to roll and i'm on the tiktok powerhouse to roll what are the messages I need to see for card number one? Those of us who pick card number one. What are the messages I need to see? It's like you're having a rebirth right now. Things that you were doing in the past, maybe they weren't aligning with integrity. Three of Cups. The fact that you change your action and then you start to have this rebirth moment is what they're saying, okay? Okay with the rebirth card okay the moment that you sign on to that it brings in celebrations it brings in good things fortune happiness so there was a lot of ways that you could have been moving that was very detrimental to your desired outcome once you shifted your perception or the way that you were moving you had a different outcome. Some of y'all, it was really based in integrity. And maybe you didn't know what that meant. But I feel like y'all had to learn some hard knock lessons to get to that point of understanding. That's why you're in this deep rebirth of energy. Yeah, justice. You have the justice in reverse. So it's like you're going to win. You're going to overcome a situation through integrity, though. You have to find the integrity. Some of us don't know how to, I guess, move and operate in this energy of integrity. You got about the page of wands. This is the energy of enthusiasm, keeping happy, keeping positive while you on the road, while you on the journey. Everybody can't do that. See what I'm saying? But this is what's necessary. This is what's best for us in the three of wands, right? And making that choice to walk in the line of integrity. So basically, this is what I'm getting. You know, if you can master up, muster up the energy to walk in integrity is what I'm getting. For those of us who pick card number one, it'll be real successful for you. Just feel it. You're going to have to walk in integrity. Tell me more the three of wands and your particular choices that we're about to make out here. So we got out the judgment. That came back out. Mm. We also have all the King of Cups. I feel like you needed a wake-up call. That's why the judgment is coming out, clarifying the three of wands with your choice. It was, like I said, an epiphany moment. Like something that really just helped you shift your energies into what was desired. I think you're doing what is best for you, just period, with the King of Cups message I'm getting. Like this is what's best for you. It's like you realize that, you know, not walking in integrity. Like no amount of money can give you integrity, right? Integrity is come from inside. The thing you know what is right to do. Just period. And right now, because we got the oppositions with in astrology with 
right now the sun is in Taurus and the moon is in Gemini, right? So this with these two energies combined, you got <clears throat> it's like a heavy desire, a heavy focus on your material gain and your material um success, right? Profitability, like what you can gain. Like it's all your focus, your desires are just driven there naturally when Gemini and Taurus come together, right? It's like stuck in materialistic gain and materialistic nature, right? So to speak. Um, you know, materialistic success, whatever that means to you. And I feel like integrity is big because since now that's a focus about money, it's like, mm, but can I really be bought? Like, these are the things that's coming up. And that's so funny that the, even the pick a card readings are saying the same thing that astrology is saying. I just wanted to point that out. Anyways, let's get back to the reading, y'all. Clarifying the three wands. All right. Um, it's the particular choice that you had to make. But again, it had to come by way of like an awakening, some sort of epiphany or like a big moment that kind of showed you what you know, what's going on up here mentally and in your heart and why you might be conflicted in decision or just moving forward or what was the stagnation, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of becoming more clear to you, I feel like, when it comes to integrity. It just means walking the line of what is right for you. You know what I'm saying? Because integrity is honestly like a personal thing. And I think that we can't all say that you know, because what's integrity to me might be not integrity for somebody. You know what I'm saying? But that personal thing in your heart that makes you feel like, you know, you're walking in integrity because you're being your true self, your authentic self, right? Treating people like kind of like how to be in integrity, right, would be like treating people how you want to be treated, knowing that that energy is going to be coming back to you, right? That kind of thing. That's integrity. Or just doing good things because it's the right thing to do, right? Shit like that. That's integrity, right? And we don't always walk that. We don't always live that. Sometimes it's just easier to just do the, not, the thing that's not in integrity. It's wrong, but fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway, right? So... It puts you in like a really tough spot. I see you in the outcome. Definitely making a smart choice. Definitely making an intelligent choice. You know what I'm saying? Just period. Again, it's like when I say what it's about this wake up call, it's in the three of pentacles. It's like you receive that from spirit. You receive that from the most high. You know, when these trumpets went playing and blaring off and bringing you that message, you know what I'm saying? You receive that, right? And that's what it's all about to me, you know what I'm saying, with this and the outcome. So I'm confident that those of us that pick card number one, you will overcome, you know, even if in the past it was difficult for you to walk in integrity, okay, you'll start to be able to walk in integrity moving forward. Those of us getting this message for card number one, clarifying the page of wands. Okay. So there was some really, I feel like there were a lot of things that happened, first of all, with the Page of Wands. And I feel like for the most part, this is just giving me the energy of gratefulness, you know, gratitude. Like, even though things had to happen, like certain changes had to happen to bring you to this point, I think you're in a lot more gratitude these days. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I don't know if you're just like looking around you and really observing like, your spot and where you are in life versus a lot of people around you and it just gives you a better sense of gratitude and helps make it easier for you to transition or what but this is the vibes right um i find you moving forward and being able to adapt easier you know for those of us getting this message you know because integrity like helps us adapt easier because it's like no fuck that i'm not doing that i'm only doing what is in alignment to me and integrity right and what's true to me right so it's easy to kind of 
like put things in perspective when you're walking in integrity. Tell me about the justice. Clarify the justice. We have about the four of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the six of swords. The justice. Clarifying the justice. All I know is there's something that you've done right so far. You know what I'm saying? You're in the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, as well as the Six of Swords. It might have been difficult for, you know, some of you guys to walk this path of integrity because money does talk, right? In this, in the land we live, Nine of Pentacles. And it's kind of a blow to your ego when you're such of an independent entrepreneur and then you realize, like, wait a minute. I do have values. I do have, you know, and those are the things that you're starting to be your core lining of who you are. You know what I'm saying? And I think that the more that you lean into that, what is stands for integrity for you, the stronger that you become internally. And it just gives you a winning outcome, ultimately, is what I'm seeing. For the justice, clarifying the justice was a nine of pentacles four of pentacles six of swords clarifying the three of cups we got the world the page of wands as well as the star okay so i'm seeing with this celebration this is really just like everything coming full circle for you at this time um page of wands energy coming back out to remind you to keep enthusiastic and keep positive you know while you're on this journey um because happiness flows from within, right? As does everything else, right? As within, as without. So um, trust your intuition at this time. Um, even if you don't feel like celebrating, those of us who pick this pile, this is about celebrating because integrity, as long as you're, you line your heart with doing right by yourself, you'll probably end up doing right by everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But first, you got to do right by yourself. And oftentimes, that's the hardest part. You know what I'm saying? For real. This Pluto and Aquarius energy is insane, y'all. What y'all know about it? It's been intense ever since it's kicked off, I swear. Clarifying uh, the death. We have out the five of wands, eight of wands, the page of, well, we got four of them, page of pentacles and a hangman. Yeah. So there was a lot of times where like you had to like, I feel like there was a lot of, I feel like you had to fight, you know, those of us who pick card number one, it's like you always had to like fight to get like you know to get to the top or something like that you've always had to like have it hard or something you always or that maybe that's just how you look at it and it's like times are like easing up for you it's all because of your desire to operate in integrity you know what i'm saying this is what i'm getting from card number one it's like all because you started to walk in integrity you chose integrity like that's my direction that's my focus it like shifted something here for this reading so you know ultimately that's what i'm getting like this is amazing yeah two of wands it was like it could have been either way two of fucking cups like yeah it's like you're operating in this energy of love like recognizing your oneness to everything in the universe obviously naturally it's gonna put you in harmony with everything in the universe right when you operate like that right so it's like not only that but it's like this is the thing of integrity to like go beyond yourself and you know i don't want to say be selfish but like kind of like be selfish enough to observe your effect, your your impact, you know, in order to make like a conscious change if necessary 
or continue to make a, a certain movement towards what you, you know, are naturally aligned to. I just think integrity is just like the basis so much these days and it's really coming up a lot because I think that people like are ignoring it, you know, and it's just something amazing about when you can walk in integrity when everyone else, you know, like is not doing that, right? You can be that person to do something different when everyone is doing the, this one thing, you know what I'm saying? But you're in your lane individually by yourself. Like, that's, to me, more powerful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because whenever I see, like, visions of destruction, it's always a million people running in one direction and they all headed, like, to death. And then it's always those couple that made it that way and they just, like, made it out alive. They survived. The ones who didn't follow the crowd. So it's something in that. That's what spirit is telling me. It's something in that. <clears throat> Getting chills. So that's my message for card number one. We're going to head into the messages for card number two. Let me know y'all down below how y'all like the messages. Right? Word up. How y'all doing tonight? Card number two messages are coercion, okay? We have the card coercion. So you're going to be experiencing coercion. Somebody trying to, like, get you to go their way. You're trying to get something to go in their favor or something like that. trying to coerce who, but we're going to find out. We have coercion. So this is all about being aware of coercion, whether it's you or them, right? And what's coming in with that energy of coercion? What are they trying to coerce us to do, though? But what is it, though? <laughs> we might want to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, see what that is. What are the messages that I need to see for card number two? All of us that will click on card number two. All of us that will pick card number two. What are the messages for card number two? Card number two. What are the messages for card number two? I feel like it's definitely something that is you're trying to be led away. Somebody's trying to be trying to coerce you into going back to something that you being you've already been guided away from. You've already learned how to live without. So this could be like you going back to old addictions. You going back to old like tendencies or like old cycles. Shit you used to do. Like it could be shit like that, right? So this could be you. Right? Or this could be somebody trying to bring that back. Things back. Whatever. Energy's back. Um, back up. Right? Okay, wrong deck. Clarifying the moon. Clarifying the moon. Yeah, this could definitely be trying to be coerced. Um, mm. 
So this could definitely be a lot of coercion trying to trying to do with um, things you walked away from. Tell me about the Six of Swords. So we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles, okay? I feel like two and the outcome is saying it's like the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like these are things that you stopped doing because you knew, like, it. they like deflated your pockets. Like, you didn't have no money. Like, it made you have to work harder. Whatever it is you walked away from. This made things harder. It made your life harder. I feel like you did come into your passion, though. The thing that it is that you desire to do for work. But it came with a lot of other things that... It's like it came with a lot of things that you don't... It's like loss. You don't want to experience that again or something. Like you don't want to experience, like you know, it's like you know what I'm saying. It's like if I had to do it again, I would do it again. But it ain't, the way that I'm getting this message is like you're saying, like if I had to do it again, I wouldn't do it again. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know you needed the lesson or something like that, this shit is crazy. Like it's wild because it's like really difficult what you had to go through, what you had to experience to get to this spot. Like I said, some of you guys, you found, you did find your life purpose, like your life path. The thing that you want to do forever to make money. And that's amazing because a lot of times in life we don't get a chance to find that out. A lot of times we just have to go to work. We just got to go to work. It's not the thing you like. It's not the thing you enjoy. We just, you know, it's work. Tell me about the temperance. Clarifying the temperance. So you can be being forced to go back to things like, it could be definitely things that took your money. Things that you used to indulge in that took your money. <sighs> Is the heat on? I'm gonna turn the heat on. Hold on. Yeah, so it's like something that you had lost, you know. It's clarifying the temperance here. Clarifying the temperance. So we got a uh, clarifying. Yeah, so the thing is, is that. I want to say it's like with this temperance, clarifying the temperance, it's like, it's like, I want to say it's like you, sh you ask God to show you your enemies or God to, you know, show you something. And I feel like it's something is being revealed to you and like you're able to like take a step back or be more moderate with something in order to overcome something like, or that's what I'm seeing. This was like this was like what they showing me like, you know. It's like you ask God to like show you your enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like show you who your enemies are. Like make it clear to you with this temperance. To the five of swords and strength. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yep. And I think, too, like, even if somebody does try to coerce you, like, really quickly, not only will you see your enemies, but you'll know, like, those of us who pick card number two, it's like, y'all gifted, y'all powerfully impactful and intuition and I 
I want to say um, you have like a career or something in this and in, in, being intuitive. You could be like a reader or you could be like a medium or just anything of the sorts in between something spiritual and it's like your life path. Maybe that was what led you to but you had to learn or lose or go through something to get where you are. It's not like it just, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like you were just like able to become this good, like sitting, you know, locked away in like mommy, daddy's basement or something. Like, no, like you learned this shit like through life and like life taught you connecting to your ancestors. Like you're a very spiritual person, like. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. Let's clarify about the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant. So I'm getting um, this message about coercion. It's like learning how to like see things coming, you know, as like being your res your new response moving forward. Those of us who pick card number two, you know, that'll be your new response. Like seeing shit coming before it happens, like type shit, like being more quick on your feet when it comes to those trickster spirits, those energies who wish to, you know what I'm saying? Wish to trick you, you know? We'll say that gently. Clarifying the moon. So this could really just be like somebody trying to coerce you out of what it is that you have. You're somebody who's very abundant, coercion. This could be like a lot of work of, you know, just energies who just want what you have but are not willing to put in the work that you have to get what it is that you have. It's by no mistake that you are where you are. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have to describe nor explain to people where it is that you are nor how it is that you got to where you are. Okay, big messages in that. Okay. But yeah, these energies could be just trying to coerce you right now because it is, like I said, something that you have and they wish that they had it. They just, they just do. Right? Right. They want something. They either want what you got or they want something from you. Okay? So, this moment is all about you, like, learning how to see shit more clearer. Like, setting your intentions to literally ask for, you know, God to reveal that. You know, your angels, your guides to reveal your enemies to you, you know? So that when coercion comes, like, you're not, you know, rocked to sleep, right? All right? So, that's what I'm getting for card number two. We're going to head into the message for card number three. Okay. Okay. We got card number three. Mr. G. Card number three message is respite with the goddess Nyx. Respite. So this is all about taking a moment, like taking a break. Okay, so those who pick card number three, it's like you need a moment, you need to step back, might need to reevaluate something. Okay.
What are the messages I need to see for card number three? Card number three. Card number three messages. Yeah, so it's like that God is telling you like to sit down like three, three. Like this is the most high, right? You got the nine of swords. You got to take a break because everything that you're doing got you overwhelmed like a motherfucker right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a break from everything right now. You got to learn how to unplug, uncharge, you know what I'm saying? Recharge, excuse me, from things. You know what I'm saying? You could be dealing with a death. You could be dealing with just something very heavy right now. And it's like you really need a break and you're like, damn, but life is life and life is happening. You're just, just like, damn, I just need to keep going. I got to keep, it's like you might feel like you're the only person that everybody is dependent on you. Some shit like that. Because in the outcome, you're showing up in the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like... People that depend on you, but you got to remember at the end of the day, if you're no good to yourself, you're no good to no one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> yes. It's either you sit your ass down or like life going to sit you down. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like too, also... You're going to have a little bit of success or a little bit of lead where something's going to help you to show you, you know, something's going to soften this, whatever you're experiencing and how you're experiencing just life right now. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the rest period is like, like, like spirit is saying, like, choose to rest in your own way versus having to get where life sets you down because there's a tower moment coming in anyways, right? To bring some sort of change, right? So it's like, well, take take a break. You are already successful enough to take a break, eight of wands, right? So that you can have this quick, speedy recovery. You understand what I'm saying? And come out of this right now and, and have like a, a whole new attitude and a new uh, beginning. You know, a new, fresh new start wherever you're choosing to go after... You take it just a moment. And I don't know what that time frame is for you because everybody's individual. But take that time. You know what I'm saying? Clarifying the three of pinnacles. I don't know why this chair is squeaking like this. It's annoying the shit out of me. Did I hear this chair? I know y'all hear this chair. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Also, too, I feel like it's like you might be receiving a, like a little bit of help too from things that just overwhelm you, or just like all of the things that you got on your plate. But I feel like the first thing it starts with, with like maybe just asking for a little bit of help. You know what I'm saying? And this Ten of Cups is talking about, like, really just asking for a little bit of help. You know? A little bit of support. You'd be surprised what you get when you ask for things. Just asking. Yo, I literally, like, ran into somebody, like, they, they reminded me of, like, how just asking for shit, like, you just receive. The universe completely supports you. Why wouldn't it? But first, you have to know that in order for that to match. You see what I'm saying? You can't just say it and then you don't believe it. Or you don't know that that's the truth, right? So you have to already, um, basically already, you know, you can't deny that, that concept without, you know, you can't get the benefits of that concept without truly believing or knowing that that's true. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why fuck it just took me three hours to just say that bullshit, but super annoyed. Clarifying the judgment here. <laughs> Mm, 
your final judgment. <laughs> yeah, so it's like maybe something difficult, like um, maybe like when this person, like somebody, I feel like for some of you guys, somebody might have passed away. Maybe it was like it, it took a long time or um, for something to happen. Or I'm also getting like a sudden death. Like somebody could have died like in a fight or something like that. Like somebody, it was a fight. And somebody, you yeah. know. So it, it could have, I'm getting a couple of reasons why somebody passed away. And then people just having a whole bunch of feelings around this. And this is another reason why they're saying like take a break. Take a breather. Those of us that pick our number, selection number uh, three, because you just need this moment. And you haven't been patient enough to allow all of the things that you've been experiencing to really catch up with you so that you can be in harmony and bring harmony to your life. You know what I'm saying? And with that, that could be a little disastrous because you're like a, honestly, when that is happening, we become like a ticking time bomb. We become like a, a volcano waiting to erupt. You know what I'm saying? So you have to really be mindful of your energy. Three, a sword, something about the three of swords. Yeah, you need a break from something that's been so painful on your heart. It's just been heavy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You got a lot of pain around y'all card up selection number three. Yeah, death. Ten of Cups. This could be like somebody who people felt like they didn't bother nobody. If people feel like this is an innocent life. So I'm getting like this message too that's coming in. It's like you might feel like, yo, nobody's gonna come to my rescue, no one's gonna help me, no one's gonna no one's gonna help me do this. Like it's only me. I only have myself. I have to do this. I can't let up. I can't, goddess, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh fuck. You need this respite. You need this. You don't even know. You're not trapped, Nine of Swords. You're not. You're not. This is in the mind. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords. This is a mental, this is a mental state that you're in because of the way that you see things. It's nothing to do with actual reality. This is just all in how you're seeing something. You're secure. You're not trapped. King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant. You can take this. You can take this time. But you got to do it. Everything, I feel like everything in your life depends on it with this Hierophant message. King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. It's like you have to learn how to juggle things. And I know, damn, it just feels like one more thing I got to juggle on my plate. Yes, your wellness, your health. It has to become part of it. Because who's well, even if there isn't anybody to inherit the wealth, well, you are the wealth. Aren't you going to protect the asset, protect the prize? Even if there's no one to receive it after you're gone? I don't know. Because I don't know what you're going to do with all of it. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I didn't get that far. So that's what I'm getting for card selection number three. I is good. All right. Let me know how you like these messages down below. How you like card selection number three, two, or one? Which one was your favorite? Let me know.
All right. I'll be back with another one. Love you guys. Peace.